morning. And welcome to Patriot TV. I'm Doug. I'm Albert. I'm Riley. I'm Alexis. Please, Please stand, stand for, for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you like to talk to tomatoes, yeah. if a squash can make you smile, if you like to waltz with potatoes up and down the produce aisle, have we got a show for you? Broccoli, celery, gotta be veggie tail. Lima beans, collard greens, peachy keen, veggie tail. Cauliflower, sweet and sour, half an hour, veggie tail. Veggie tails, veggie tails, it's time for veggie tail. Throwback, Sunday school, best show, vegetables, every episode so cool. Learn about God in the Bible, low key, grown man, high key, still a fan. I play the songs when I can, cause God's still bigger than the boogeyman. Barbara Manatee and Pizza Angel come to me. I'm a motivated pirate who don't do anything, no? No, seriously, I just stay home and lay around. Shout out to Larry the Cucumber and my boy Bob the Tomato. Y'all stick to DC and Marvel. Larry Boy's my superhero. Oh, where? Oh, where? Is my hair brush though? Oh, why? Oh, why? Doesn't everybody ever want to go below? Keep walking and walking, but you won't knock down our wall. I think cheeseburgers are precious and the very best show is Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales. Never ever ever been a show like Veggie Tales. No. There's never ever 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 been a show like Veggie Tales. Oh, yeah. I still don't know what I'd do if my lips left me, man. Hey, what y'all know about them say booze? None of them Marvel superheroes got plungers for ears, dog. It's Laura's fault she broke the plate. She kept on saying she had to demonstrate her apple chopper. Chop right through the plate, man. Most likely to be seven foot NBA player. <laughs> what was your favorite part of this year? Uh, the Green Mountain play. What was your favorite part of this year? Art. Curly is most likely to be pale for the rest of her life. <laughs> what was your favorite part of eighth grade? Okay. Sophie. Oh. Caleb is most likely to be on ski patrol. What was your favorite part of 8th um, grade? My favorite part of 8th grade was... Fire drill! <laughs> building the house in geometry. It's pretty cool. 
most likely to live drug free for her whole life. What was her favorite part of eighth grade? Being in office today. <laughs> Professional Minecraft streamer. What was your favorite part of eighth grade? Um, probably playing Minecraft and Hannah's computer in Spanish. Most likely to be a sneakerhead. What was your favorite part of this eighth grade year? Oh, uh, getting my passions. Yep. Yeah. Average soccer player. What was your favorite part of eighth grade? Mm, probably Mr. Cogsby's class. <laughs> the next James Charles. What was your favorite part of eighth grade? Uh, Mr. Hart's class. Bald and short. What was your favorite part of eighth grade? My favorite part of eighth grade was Miss Goldberg's class. Most likely to be a turtle. Chopper, what are you gonna do this summer? Most likely to be taller than six foot. Most likely to be four nine. What was your favorite part of eighth grade? You can go first. Okay. Probably just like being at the top of the school. Um, my favorite part I would like to say it would be first semester weightlifting with Mr. Romero in sixth period. Most likely to be a model. <laughs> what was your favorite part of eighth grade? grade was letting Maddox play Minecraft on my computer and dropping Jameson because she just deserves to be dropped and I'm blocking her on everything I own, never talking to her again because she's going to Mullen. What was your favorite part about teaching the class of 2023? Uh, you guys were able to make great connections. Um, throughout the year, a lot of you guys definitely have some great sarcasm and humor built into you, which will take you guys far. And then a lot of you guys definitely took some major risks um, this year with different classes and then um, teaching with new people. So you guys will definitely go far in life. What was your favorite part about teaching the class of 2023? Oh my, um, I love their spunk, their personality, their perseverance. They made me laugh every single day. What was your favorite part about teaching the class of 2023? Um, I liked a lot about teaching this class, but my favorite things are their willingness to take risks and do things we've never done in 8th grade ELA before here at Dunstan. Um, I think that takes a lot of guts and I'm really grateful for that. What was your favorite part about teaching the class of 2023? Uh, this is the first year that I had an 8th grade advice. Um, definitely a lot different than 7th grade. Uh, the nice thing is they actually get my sarcasm, which I thought was awesome. Uh, they're also they're really creative. I say this class is particularly creative. Um, I started a new class this year, the Pre-Engineering 2 class, and a lot of the 8th graders that I had in there really blew me away with um, just how creative they were and imaginative. Um, so I'll definitely miss this class and I wish them the best of luck. What was your favorite thing about teaching the class of 2023 last year? Uh, what I remember about last year's seventh graders is how respectful, hardworking, and kind um, they were. So it, it just really made my job a lot easier. Um, so I appreciate that. Have a summer. Summer. There are a lot of fun activities across the school. Let's take a look. In Ms. Fisher's science class, students critiqued earthquake and volcano movies for a scientific portrayal of those events. In Ms. Aberdeen's sports math class, they took a took a trip to Coors Field where they watched the Rockies play. In Ms. Waterhouse's theater class, students worked on improv. I'm here. Hi, James Charles, man. <laughs> While in her musical class, students rehearsed and performed an original mini musical. Hi, this is the Avid Readers PT Meet Group. Today we're talking about Out of My Mind by Sharon M. Draper. 11 year old Melody has a photographic memory. Her head is a video camera that's always recording. Always. And there's no delete button. She's the smartest kid in her whole school, but no one knows it. Most people, her teachers and doctors included, 
don't think she's capable of learning. And up till recently, her school days consisted of listening to the same preschool level alphabet lessons again and again and again. If only she could speak up. If only she could tell people what she thinks and knows, but she can't. Because Melody can't talk. She can't walk. She can't write. Being stuck inside her head is making Melody go out of her mind. That is, until she discovers something that will allow her to speak for the first time ever. At last, at last Melody has a voice. But not everyone around her is ready to hear it. I'm signing up for the summer reading program where you can join the group classroom with the code YYUNGLS. This is for Dusty students to get updates and reminders to all your minutes. Hey Patreon TV, we're from Miss Tuttle's avid readers class. We are creating a gumball machine filled with poetry written by Dunstan Patriot to brighten your day. The gumball machine is going to be located by the office. To submit a poem, email it to dmspoetryproject at gmail.com. How to buy an original poem written by a Dunstan student. One, place your quarter into the slot in front of the machine. Once the quarter is all the way in, turn the metal handle until it stops. Open the metal flap underneath the handle and you'll find the capsule. Open the capsule and remove the poem. Please return the capsule into the box under the table. Read the poem and enjoy. This is Miss Dolan, and this is just a gentle final reminder that all Chromebooks that are loaned out to students from Dunstan are due on Tuesday, May 21st, no later than 10:15 a.m. All Chromebooks after that time will be locked, and so this thing right here will become a fabulous three and a half pound paperweight for you over the summer if you don't return it. So please get them in Tuesday, the 21st, no later than 10:15 in the morning, with the charger. Don't forget the charger. Thanks, Patriots. This school year has had its fair shares of up and downs. Let's take a look at our favorite parts. Hi, I'm Lena, and you're watching PTV. <laughs> because the school year is basically over, we decided it'd be fun to show you people's favorite memories from the school year. So let's see what they are. What's your favorite memory from the year? My favorite memory was probably opening night of Lion King when everything came together and the show turned out so beautifully and we had such a great audience. What's your favorite memory from the year? My favorite memory from the year is when Korea filled his black bag with water and put a carrot with it and said it was a goldfish. What's your favorite memory from the school year? My favorite memory from the school year has to be the musical like I got so many new friends and I just thought it was a fun experience. What's your favorite memory from this year? My favorite memory from this year is when I found out that my Science Olympia kids uh, got to states for the first time and since I've been a coach. It was awesome. What was your favorite memory of the school year? I think it had to be when the eighth grade social finally happened and I got to destroy all of the age players and all of the sports. Cool. What was your favorite memory from the school year? My favorite memory of the school year is sharing my top 10 American history rap songs with my students. Do you have an example? No buffalo, nowhere to go. There you go. What was your favorite memory from this year? My favorite memory, a couple of them, were um, going to the, the band concerts and seeing all my students perform. I thought that was pretty cool, and I brought my kids to that so we could see students doing things that they love to do, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and then also just the, the really hard work on the Mayor Project was really cool when we did that PBL this fall. And then also the guest speakers and um, seeing what kids got out of that, that was really awesome too. Thank <laughs> you.
I just licked my elbow. <laughs> What's up, you two? Oh, please stop me. Okay. Oh. Mr. Starkey, and this is my ASMR. No! <laughs> I can almost see it, that dream I'm dreaming, but there's a voice inside my head saying you'll never reach it. Every step I'm taking, every move I make feels lost with no direction. My faith is shaken, but I, I gotta keep trying. Gonna keep my head held high There's always gonna be another mountain I'm always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose It ain't about how fast I get there Ain't about what's waiting on the other side the struggles I'm facing, the chances I'm taking, sometimes I knock me down, but no, I'm not breaking. I may not know it, but these are the moments that I'm gonna remember most. Yeah, just gotta keep going.
Thanks for watching and for the great school year. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful summer, Dunstan Patriots! Hey guys, Lisa from Lisa's Parkour here. So today for parkour, we're not only doing parkour, but we're also doing like parkour memories. So let's go take a trip down memory lane. Let's go! Parkour montage in a row, y'all! Hey guys, today for the last parkour we have everybody. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's sad.